everyone and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, viewers, and the world out there. Today we're looking into Scorpio's full moon energy reading for the month of July. In this message, Scorpio, we're going to look into what needs to be released through this full moon. Now, this full moon is going to be in the sign of Capricorn. It is a super moon. It is also the most intense moon of the year. It's the closest to the planet Earth. And this full moon in particular, a lot of us are going to be faced with some hard truths. Whether this be emotionally or spiritually, these challenges are going to help take us to that next level. Okay, so having patience, trusting the universe, trusting the process is going to be important. Now, the full moon is on the 13th. It can resonate for three days. It can also take up to a month, the month of July into the month of August for this reading to come to fruition. So keep that in mind, guys, when watching these messages. Also... If you like the vibe, how I interpret the cards, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. Everyone's welcome here, and it does help to set intentions for future messages. So, Scorpio, let's dive in and see what we can see for your upcoming energy for this month. Most important message here for Scorpio Spirit. What do my Scorpion friends need to know? The energy that's coming out here, Scorpio, is an energy of needing to release, competing for somebody's time, attention, and energy. And um, I see that very clearly here in the cards. What's no longer serving you, Scorpio, here is um, trying to enforce your truth on another person now we're gonna clarify all of this here in a moment we have the eight of pentacles the ace of swords with the death energy i feel like you may be threatening a particular person like oh if it's not a certain way i'm gonna walk away something along those lines and um trying to work together is probably going to be a better approach to this scenario okay now how to release this energy again you have to choose that position Choose that position of not competing, not going against the grain, not fighting for an outcome, but working together, coming together, finding a common ground. I do feel like there is going to be an opportunity for this to work, um, but you're going to have to be honest with yourself. You're going to have to let a few things go. This person that you're trying to work this out with may also have to let a few things go. Now, this could be a work scenario. Um, this could also be a family situation where you and a family member are having a conflict and in order to work things out, you're going to have to compromise, find a common ground. So let's clarify for you, Scorpio. Now, if you find the messages helpful or resonating, please give it a thumbs up. We're going to start here with the Eight of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, the Death Energy for what needs to be released. I definitely feel here, Scorpio, you've tried to enforce a particular idea on this person, okay? And maybe this is something that hasn't worked up to this point. The energy is definitely coming to a common ground um, being strategic when dealing with this particular person. Clarify the two of wands, the five of wands with the four of wands. Now, 
something that's brought to my attention here, Scorpio. You may feel like you're going backwards with this person, but understand you're not, okay? If you're having to compromise something that you wanted in order to move forward in a positive direction, you're not going backwards, so understand that. Let's clarify the outcome here with the Nine of Wands, the Six of Wands, the Fool energy. I do feel like there is a need to come together to work together to be strategic here. So let's pull a few cards out here for your advice, guidance moving forward. Scorpio, thank you guys again for all the love and support. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. Now, how, how do you make this work, right? What if this person is going against the grain? What if they're not working with you? Okay. Again, being strategic is going to be important here. And that's why we're pulling out the advice. For some of you, there may be a need for a difficult conversation to be had where some apologies are made. Um, but I feel here there's going to be an opportunity for a conversation that's going to come up within the next month. And so instead of just having like a lighthearted conversation, maybe there is a need to have more um, intense figuring things out, planning things out type of a conversation. Okay. Your advice guidance moving forward. We have the page of cups, the two of cups, the nine of cups with the temperance energy. Okay. So finding that balance and having patience with the process is going to be important. There's a lot of emotions tied up to this connection. And I feel like this hasn't always been positive, but it hasn't always been negative either. Um, and so that's why there's this mixed bag here of cards when it comes to the situation. Being honest with yourself, being honest with this person, um, and maybe even apologizing, even if it's just for how you made them feel in a particular moment, might break the ice. So keep that in mind. It's a secret weapon. An apology is a secret weapon, guys. That's how I look at it. Your soul journey message coming out is worry. I am learning that worry doesn't change an outcome. So this card talks is coincides with fear. Um, worrying, stressing, overthinking what the outcome is going to be. There's definitely a need to release the competition here, Scorpio. So Scorpio, I feel like that's a good solid message coming out for you guys. Thank you guys again for all the love and support. And I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.